So I think I'll probably miss the boat slightly with this one, but I'll do it anyway because I'm sure I'll get it asked. I'll get asked at least um, a few more times. So sole trader grants, should I claim or not? Um, based on individual circumstances. So I had a very interesting conversation um, with a client last week. It's all around the criteria and the detail. And effectively, what I think is going to happen is HMRC will turn around and say, oh, why has everyone claimed all these grants? You know, you've been working, your income's gone down 10%. We've given you 80% grant of your income plus you've been working. So effectively, you know, you might end up with, say, 170% of your usual income. So really, this is all down to the guidance that HMRC gave at the beginning, which is very vague when it came down to these grants and very overly generous when they said, well, if you've been affected. But if someone says, well, yes, I have been affected, my income's gone down by 20%, 30%, 40%, it wasn't like HMRC is saying we'll replace that loss of income. There was no flexibility like that. You either apply or you don't, and you got 80% of what you earned the year before. I mean, there's all sorts of problems with the criteria, but in the scenario where they were far too generous, you know, people now are a little bit nervous. I've claimed, but now ended up overall with more than I would have normally got. Should I claim again? Well, with, with the latest round, the fourth grant, which comes into the 2021 22 tax year, so it doesn't affect the tax returns being done at the moment for the year end 5th of April 21. It's just a case of, you know, looking at the criteria. Do you fit the criteria? Have you been affected? What's your loss of income? So that's all within the detailed HMRC guidance. It should be followed. So as um, as you probably know, accountants been locked out of this application process. So it's different to furlough where furlough, the accountant can make the claim for the client linked with the payroll, the sole trader glance, the client has had to do that themselves. The accountant can't do that on their behalf. So, um, you know, that's been beneficial in terms of it's, it's decreased our workload slightly, um, but also, you know, it has caused a lot of confusion with the taxpayer and a lot of panic. Um, but, you know, most of our clients were able to follow that process. And I would say on average, you know, the first lockdown um, this time last year, so April 2020, basically pretty much everyone claimed, I reckon. Um, however, you know, second, third lockdown is more 50-50. I think fourth um, grant now, you know, pe most people aren't going to claim because they are working or they'll claim, but maybe claim the reduced amount. Um, but, you know, I think in terms of HMRC inquiries, um, just very quickly, I don't think they've got a leg to stand on because the criteria at the beginning was so vague. And the other thing I have to say, which was completely wrong, is the grants were not taxed at source. So what is the point of giving it basically this really, really generous grant, which is taxable, and then after people doing their tax returns saying, you then have to pay the tax back to us. Makes absolutely no sense. It would have been far better if HMRC would have deducted the 29% tax on the grant or just reduced the amount and said instead of 80% taxable, it will be 60%, but it will be tax-free or, or something like that. It could have been done in such an easier way. Um, but now you've got people potentially with large tax bills that may have to pay money back to the revenue um, that the revenue have given them in the first place. So really makes no sense and um, hope that's helpful. Thanks.